Hey, what's up? It's Dylan from Tinker Coffee, and today I'm gonna to show you a little bit about espresso and how to dial in. So first, I'm gonna talk about everything that I have here. And if you haven't seen our variables video, I'm gonna be referencing some things from there, so go ahead and check that out first before we go over all of this. So just like brewing any coffee in espresso, you have a filter, it's called a porta filter. Every time we use it, we like to use a nice clean rag and clean it out so there's no water or anything inside of it. We've got a scale here to weigh our dose, a grinder. I'm using Zing, one of our house blends. It's what we recommend and what we use on espresso. I've got a tamp pad with a tamp a scale for my output and of course my espresso machine. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh out my dose. For this espresso, I'm gonna use 18 grams as my dose and I'm gonna use a two to one ratio, meaning the weight of the yield is going to be twice the dose. So 18 grams in, 36 grams out, and we're shooting for a time around 30 seconds. Now, time is important in every brew method in coffee, but in espresso, it's the one thing that's gonna like change that, the flavor profile of that coffee quite a bit. So we're going to adjust our grind size to be able to hit that certain time that we're looking for. Like I said, 30 seconds is what we're shooting for right here. So first, we're gonna weigh out our dose. I've teared my scale with the portafilter on it. Grind into the portafilter. All right, like I said, I'm looking for 18 grams. I've got just over, I'm gonna scoop a little tiny bit out. I'm gonna tap the sides of the portafilter just a little bit to settle the bed and distribute. I'm gonna set it on the tamp pad, and I wanna make sure that the tamp is evenly distributed and at the same height throughout the puck here. So I like to use my fingers right around the edge and nice even pressure until it resists enough that I can't really push down anymore. A lot of people wonder what's the exact pressure you wanna tamp your espresso to. There's no exact pressure. You just wanna go until you hit resistance and consistency is key. Like everything that we do, we just wanna stay consistent. So if you have one way that you tamp and you do it that way every single time, there's your consistency right there. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any coffee on top of my portafilter or on these tabs here. Run a little fresh water through and lock in my portafilter. Turn my scale here and here we go. Again, I'm using 18 grams of coffee. I'm looking for 36 grams of espresso in around 30 seconds. All right. So I got exactly the yield that I needed, 36 grams in about 29 and a half seconds. If you don't have a timer on your espresso machine, you can just use the stopwatch app on your phone. I'm gonna give this a little stir and I encourage you, no matter how your espresso pulled, always taste it. It's good to kind of train your palate and find out what you like. You may be surprised if it pulls out of your parameters and you actually really like the way the espresso tastes. Delicious. So your espresso shot maybe didn't pull within your parameters. Maybe it pulled in 20 seconds or 40 seconds and you wanna know how to adjust that so that you can hit the parameters that you need. The one variable that I really like to change when I'm dialing in espresso because it affects all the other variables is grind size. So grind size is important because it will affect the flow of the water through that puck and how much resistance builds up. So in order to build resistance and extend that time, so if your shot pulled in 20 seconds and you wanna pull it closer to 30 seconds, you're gonna to wanna to fine up the grind a little bit. If your shot took too long to pull, you wanna coarsen it up. That allows the water to come through the puck a little bit faster. Now, you may have a machine where your grinder is inside your espresso machine and you've already gone as fine as you can go, but you still aren't hitting that 
30 second mark. In order to do so, another variable that you can change is your dose. So we use 18 grams, maybe try 18 and a half or 19 grams and see if that helps build up that resistance in the puck and take your espresso a little bit longer to pull. You will need to change what your yield is or your output to, in order to adjust for that ratio. Finally, the one thing that you can change in order to hit your parameters, and you may notice that it has a very big impact on the flavor of your espresso, is how much water you're actually putting through it. So instead of doing a two to one ratio, where we were getting 36 grams out, you may wanna try 40 grams or 45 grams, or if you have a really bright coffee that you need to calm down a little bit, even go to 50 or 55 grams, like a three to one ratio. Each coffee is gonna be a little bit different, but that can affect your output, your time, and all of that as well, and help you dial it in a little further.